Hello there and welcome back to another edition of the Hot Lab Classic Remastered. This time we're taking a look at the 1997 Mazda RX-7 Type RB. It is another FD RX-7 to take on the course, the fourth one we've had. We've had the Touring X with its 4-speed auto, we've had the RS and we've had the RSR. So now we have the RB. What does the RB get you? I have no idea. I often make fun of how many Sylvias and Skylines are in this game and it prets us, but um, yeah, the RX-7 is one of those that really creeps on you because all of these are basically the same car. <laughs> um, so, there's lots to look forward to. I like the FD RX-7, so I don't mind driving it over and over again, unlike Sylvias, but um, yeah. There's not an awful lot to say about it, is the front engine rear wheel drive 532 horsepower, 1,121 kilos. It should be pretty good because the other FDs have been pretty good, so we'll find out. Anyways, it is going to get six laps of the motorsports land track in order to set the best time it possibly can. Our current leader is the Toyota Celica Rally Car, which set a time of a 27.552. The RX-7 Type RB completely didn't have to look at the spreadsheet for which one this was. Um, yeah, it's unlikely to beat that. Uh, one of these comes without a wing. I know that, which does look very odd on this car. I think this is one of those. That was my biggest issue with Forza for a long time. They used to use, and I think maybe they still do. Oh, did they get away from that? I can't remember. Anyways, for the uh, longest time, Forza insisted on using the 97 North American RX-7, which did not have a rear wing. Nor did it have the option for a tasteful rear wing, like your only option was the horrendous Forza Aero. And then eventually, like when they started adding wide bodies and stuff to the game, it got a little bit better. You know, you have like the Rocket Bunny wings, 30.263, that puts it in line with basically all the other ones of these. Um, get very lucky with that corner cut through there. I'm not sure how much longer I'll keep getting away with that. But yeah, um, once they started adding like the rocket bunny kits and stuff, it got a little bit more tolerable. But even then, I mean, you know, it really is a case of pick your poison. Fortunately, I think Horizon 4, they added the uh, Spirit R back to the game finally. 29.982, so we are under 30. Which, to be fair, I, I should point out FD's... Ah, there we go, I knew I was going to stop getting away with it after a while. Um, now that this lap's written off, we can have a look. Um, yeah, the RSR 30.244, um, the quickest RX-7 we've had is Racing Modified, and that was the RSR, which is somewhere 29.837, so it's about in the middle there, so that makes sense. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, they eventually added the uh, the Spirit R, which is the later one, which in my opinion is the best FD. So even if it does have those weird sort of squinty eyes or the weird sort of like front headlight things, the RX-7 eventually got. But it's still a very cool car. Uh, they added that one, and uh, that sort of solved the issue. But the the most annoying bit about Forza, and this is something people often forget, is Forza actually had a better RX-7 in it previously. In the original Forza Motorsport, they had the 1995 RX-7 Turbo, which did have this rear wing on it, and was a North American spec, and then for whatever reason, from, I think it must have been Forza 2 or 3 onwards, they just had the 97 for some reason. I didn't really understand that. I assume, much like with Polyphony sometimes, it's one of those where you question, did some guy at work just have like a 97, so that's what they went with, I don't know. Anyways, 29.982. Pretty good. Um, just, just, just sneaks into the under 30s. Um, with quite a good lap, to be honest. And, uh, yeah, that's really messed the camera up, that lap being invalidated. But, um, yeah, you know, it's an FDRX7. They're good to drive. There's not really a lot to say about them that I haven't already said. That was the quickest lap by far. If I am being completely honest, I think that is probably about the ceiling of where that would have gone. Obviously, uh, with race mod and with a little bit more power, which the RX-7s do have, there's 1998 versions of them, um, we'll eventually get there. But, um, yeah, not bad. 
29.982 places it into 70th place um, because it's a tie with a car that went previously the car that set the time first gets to keep its spot so uh, unfortunately it's not the uh, the lucky number um, it ties with the Chevrolet Camaro Z28 30th anniversary which now means it is the uh, the slowest car in the under 30 club as I said it misses out on the other RX-7 which had race mod by uh, 0.15 of a second which isn't too bad uh, quicker than Sleeker GT4, Lancia Delta HF. The joke with these cars beats the Z28 Coupe, the normal Camaro. Um, the joke with these cars, these FDRX7s, is they're so much faster than most of its rivals other than Skylines. There's really nothing to compare them to. For the Hot Lab Classic with these classic sort of JDM sports cars, it goes... Right at your top group, you have your Skylines and GTOs, then you have the RX-7, and then you have everything else, the Supras and stuff like that, the truly wretched stuff down there. So, um, yeah, that's sort of how it works. Anyways, that is it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Join me next time when I'll be around something completely different. Until then, farewell. Yeah.